soldiers having fled the battle zone in the country's north. More than 1,400 civilians poured out of the region on Sunday, bringing the total to 14,000 in four days. Aid agencies say around a quarter of a million are still trapped as the army tries to deal a death blow to the separatist Tamil Tiger rebels. The government and human rights groups accuse the militants of forcibly keeping people in the war zone as human shields. The Tigers deny this. The military has released footage of an attack on what they believe is the operational base of the group's naval wing, the Sea Tigers. Army bombers attacked a complex of bunkers with an apartment and communications dishes, killing at least 11 rebels. The Sea Tigers chief, Colonel Susai, is reported to be missing, dealing another potentially devastating blow to the weakened separatists. The military believes it's close to winning the 25-year-old war, one of Asia's longest-running conflicts which has left more than 70,000 dead. The US and the European Union have led calls for the Tigers to surrender and for both sides to allow a brief ceasefire to enable civilians to escape. The government has pledged safe passage to civilians but has ruled out any deal with the Tigers.